Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's session, we are going to see one of the interesting thing about uh, SQL Server Query. Okay, so we are going to see how you can actually do the bulk import your CSV data into the SQL Server database table. Okay, so for that, we have created one CSV file. So if you see, this is employee data. Okay, so we have employee name, city, salary, date of joining, and designation. So I have taken just six records just to show you how you can actually do it. But in ideal scenario or in practical, you might have to import uh, more than hundred records also. Okay. So we can take all these five columns, okay, and we can create one table inside our database, okay. Let me show you, and let's create one table. So we can write create table, and let's give our table name as uh, something like employee bulk import, okay, and we are going to fill the columns here, okay. So let's take the first column as uh, employee ID, and this will be identity column, okay. So employee ID type will be int, and this will be identity. This will be of course not null then the second one is uh, emp name that we have taken from the csv okay so this will be of uh, varchar data type uh, let's take the size as 100 and this will also be not null then the third column in the list will be city so city and then varchar this can be of size 50 that should be fine null fourth column can be salary uh, let's take that as a decimal 20 fifth column is date of joining so this will be date time this can be null as well last but not the list it's designation column okay so this will be again where care let's take that as 100 as well and this can be null okay so let's execute this so we should be able to create our table now let's query this table here let me just remove all this because i don't need all this now so we can write select a star from dbo dbo dot and then your table name which is this so as of now we will not see any data here because we have not done anything okay so you have to write bulk insert your table name so this is our table name okay then from and this will be your file path so we'll fill the file path uh, but first let's complete this query and then you have to write width here guys you need to fill three details okay so the first detail will be first row so first row is going to be two because if you see the csv file this is the first row so this is something that we are not going to insert into the database table so we'll be starting from second row okay so that's the reason we are writing row is equal to first row is equal to two second property will be your filled terminator okay filled terminator and this will be comma because all your uh, data for a single employee is going to be separated by this comma okay and the third property is going to be row terminator okay so every row is going to be terminated by this one slash n okay so that uh, rows are going to be inserted below each other okay so let's update the file path here okay so let's take the file path now if you execute it it should ideally import the uh, data into this table okay let's just execute it okay so probably it is expecting the value of employee id as well that extra column we have created as identity column so we can create one uh, column here called uh, employee id and you do not have to put data here okay you can simply put zero because identity column do not expect uh, any data okay even if you pass zero it will take it okay so we can take zero for all the records and guys make sure you are closing the file before running the query okay and let's execute that uh, bulk import query here you go six rows affected okay let me just query this table so here you go you are getting all the data now so thank you guys for watching i hope you might have uh, enjoyed the video so we'll meet up in the next video till then bye bye take care